Hello everyone, welcome back to Now How. Today we are going to create a dynamically automated attendance sheet for you where you will find many new things to learn about Excel. This sheet is looking simple yet fully automatic. You can change the month, years and everything is changing automatically. If I take any month, you can see that the days are changing automatically. If I switch to February, it is showing 28 days and if I switch to December, it is showing the full 31 days. Sundays are not only highlighting automatically, but they are logged too. You cannot make entry into them even by mistake. If you ever do, an error pop-up message will appear like this. If I change the month, the logged Sundays are dynamically changing. You will learn many things including new formulas because we will be doing all this without VBA. Additionally, we will save this template to Excel and you need not to copy paste it if you ever need it. You simply have to open the new file and then get it under the personal templates. This tutorial is going to be very special so stick around till end and don't skip this video. Don't forget to subscribe now how and press the bell icon for more videos. Again as per our method we are going to create it from the scratch. So first of all we have to create the basic template. So I will go to the cell B2 and I will write attendance sheet. After this I will go to the cell B4 and write month. In the B5 cell, I will write years. I will select these three cells and merge them. I will left align it, select these cells, merge them, left align them. Similar will be done for the years. I will increase the font size. I will make them bold. After this, I will create another sheet and here I will write January. Then I will go to the bottom right corner of this cell and drag it down. So I get the list of the month. I will go to the sheet 1 again. And here actually I want to create the list of month. So I will do it with the help of drop down list. To create a drop down list, I will go to the data tab. And then I will go to the data validation and here I will select the list and in the source I will provide the list from the sheet 2. After this I will press OK and now you can see that I got the list of the month in front of the month cell. Similarly I will create the list of years. So again I will go to the data tab and here in the data validation I will select the list and this time instead of selecting them anywhere I will write it simply with the help of comma delimiter. After providing the list I will press OK. Now the list of the years is also created. I will select these two cells and go to the home tab and here I will increase its font size and make them bold also. So now if I select any month or year it is bold. I will left align the year also. I will fill some color in the month and year column. Now my next task is to create the start date of any month. For this purpose, in this G4 cell, I will enter a formula that is equal date value. In inverted commas, I will write 1 ampersand sign. Then I will select the D4 cell. Again ampersand sign. And then D5 cell. Close this bracket and press enter. So you get a code. To convert this code into date, I have to format this cell into the date format. For this purpose, I will press the short key control 1 and then I will go to the custom 
and in the type I will write td space mmm and then press ok. Now you see that I get it in the date format. I will merge these two cells and then in the next cell I will write to I will middle align this and then in the next cell I will write equal and here this time I will provide the function that will provide me the end of date. So I will write EO hit the tab key and then select the G4 cell comma 0 close this bracket and press enter again to format it I'll press the short key control 1 and here again I'll go to the custom and this time again I'll write dd space mmm and press ok I will select these two cells and merge them I will select these cells increase the font size make them bold I'll select the start date press and hold the control key and then select the last date after this I will fill some color in these cells so now you see if I change the month the start and the end date is changing accordingly I'll go to this B8 cell and here I will write ID then in the next cell I will write name and in the next cell I will write the phone you can personalize all this information as per your need I will increase the font size, make them bold and I will apply the border. Now I will go to this F7 cell and here I will write equal and then select the start date of the month. Now this time I only need the date not the month so I will format it by pressing the short key control 1 and this time I will only type DD. And then press OK. Then in the second cell I will write equal if bracket start this F7 date is greater than this end date then I have to add 1 in the start date. So I will write this condition and if I do not find anything then I need a blank cell and then I'll close this bracket and press enter I'll format this code in the date format so again the similar formatting will be done now to create the rest of the date of the month I'll go to the bottom right corner of this cell and drag it to the right So once I created the 31 date, I'll select all these columns and adjust the width of the columns. If the start and end date is not visible, you just simply need to add some cells into them by merging new cells. Now I will write the days in this F8 cell. So here I will write equal text bracket start I will select the first date F7 then I will put comma and in inverted commas I will write TDD close this bracket and press enter so I get the first date I will go to the bottom right corner and then drag it to the right so you see I get the name of the days once we have created all the number of days in a month and the name of the days we have to select them and I will make them bold I will center align them and after this I will select this range apply border to it and now you see if I change the month the number of days are automatically calculated it is automatically calculating the number of days in a month like you can see that in February it is showing the 28 days and if I switch to any other month days as well as the Sundays are automatically 
changing. Now my next task is to highlight the Sundays. For this purpose, I'll go to this first cell and then I'll go to the home tab and under the home tab, I'll go to the conditional formatting. Here I will select the new rule. I'll select the use a formula to determine which cell to format and enter a formula that is equal F8 in which I have written the name of the days. Here I will only lock the number of rows. Then I will write equal and in inverted commas I will write Sunday. After writing this formula, I will go to this format cell and here I will go to the fill option. I will select the color that I want to fill with and the font color will be changed to white. After this I will press OK. Again OK. To apply this formatting to all the cell, I will drag this cell to the right and then to the bottom. So now you see that the Sundays are highlighted and it is also changing dynamically as I switch between different months. Now I will share a magic trick with you that how you can dynamically lock these Sundays that you cannot even write them even with the mistake. For this purpose, again I will go to this first cell and this time I will use the data validation trick. For this purpose, I will go to this data tab and then I will go to the data validation. And in this data validation, I will select the custom and here I will write the formula equal F dollar sign 8 because I want to lock the rows. After this, I will write the greater sign smaller sign and in inverted commas I will write Sunday. After writing this formula the Sundays will be locked but I do not only want to lock them I also wanted to add an error alert. For this purpose I will go to this error alert and here I will give title for example I write the alert and the message I want to display is that Sunday is off. And then I will press OK. After doing this, I will drag this handle to the right and then to the bottom to apply it to all the cells. Now if I write present in the Sunday, it will give me the alert that Sunday is off. So the Sundays are locked, but at the same time, they are dynamically changing. You can see that we have locked them in an automated fashion. Now there are some formatting steps. The first thing is that I don't want to see these grid lines. To remove them, I'll go to this view tab and I will uncheck the grid lines. I'll select these cells, go to the home tab and select a color. I will also fill color in these cells. I'll select this first row and select it to the last date. Merge and center them and then apply a thick border to the bottom. Now you can see that we have created a complete attendance sheet. It's time to learn that how we can add it to the Excel template that if we re-need it, we don't need to copy paste it. We just get it in the templates. For this purpose, I'll go to this file tab and here I'll select the save as. Then I'll go to this browse. I'll select any place where I want to store it and I'll give it a name. And then I'll select save a type. In this list, I'll select this Excel template and then I'll click this save button. So now if I want to get, I'll go to this file and then new. And under the personal, you can see that I have the attendance template over here. So you can just simply click it and get your new file. If you want to extend this sheet to down, you just need to select some rows and then drag it to the place where you want. And there you have it. We have successfully built a dynamically automated attendance sheet in Excel. 
I hope you found this tutorial valuable and that it simplifies your record keeping process. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials like this. Feel free to leave your questions or suggestions in the comments below. Thanks for tuning in to Now How and I will see you in the next video. Until then, happy excelling.